Hi, my name is Margaret. In this video I'm going to introduce you to the printf method. Printf allows you to print formatted output. The first argument of a printf method call is always a format string. It consists of fixed text and it can include format specifiers. Format specifiers are placeholders for a value of a given type and for each format specifier an actual value has to be provided. Here is an example. It's a print statement that uses the printf method and in my format string it says city percent s. So it says city and something is going to be filled in for the city name. It's expected to be a string. That's what the s next to the percent means. And then I provide the actual value corresponding to the percent %s, which is, in my case, Seattle. Here is another example. In this printf method call, it says H percent %d years. D stands for digit, because I'm expecting a number here. And after my format string, after the comma, I provide the actual value, which means, in my case, 13. Once again, for each of my format specifiers, for each of my placeholders, I need to provide an actual value after my format string. If you want, you can think of the printf statement as a fill-in-the-blank print statement. Just like the print statement, it does not terminate with a new line, unless you specify so. And for each of the format specifiers, you can think like an empty space that needs to be filled. For each of the format specifiers, an actual value has to be provided. Format specifiers start with the percent sign. So we looked at two different format specifiers, percent %d for digits, percent %s for strings. There are other ones which we will look at over the next weeks. Let's look at an example. So here I say system out printf and I say name percent s John Smith. I'm going to compile and run shows me John Smith. You can do this something similar with a number system out print f and I say it is percent t o'clock and let's say it's eight o'clock. I compile and run shows me name John Smith and immediately next to it it is eight o'clock. So I want you to know printf does not advance automatically to the new line. If this is something I want, the preferred way to do that is by using a percent %n. Well, actually, before I show you that, let's try something we've learned before. I could say system out print line. This would do the trick. I'm going to compile and run. And see, I have two separate lines. However, this extra statement makes my code unnecessarily big. And I always try to keep my code simple and clear, easy to read, easy to maintain. A preferable way that you see much more frequently is to specify the new line right here in your format string. So at the end I say percent %n, that is the preferred way to do it. And this percent %n tells the compiler that we need a new line. So I'm going to compile and run and here once again I have two lines. Some of, some of you might wonder why do I need a percent %f with a fill in the blank situation and a placeholder if I could also just use a simple print statement and I could say it is 8 o'clock. So let's try that. I compile 
and run, I get the same output. However, in this situation, this is just a hard-coded string. Now, in the situation of my format uh, string, I typically don't specify a hard-coded 8 at the end, but I might have a variable or maybe a method call that gives me the current time, and it changes uh, over the day. Because of that, format strings that allow you to fill in the current value are very useful. So let's practice one more example that has m more than one format specifier in a single format string. So I say system out printf my kids are presenti and presenti years old. And I say they're two and four years old here. I'm going to add another new line at the end and also right here I'm going to compile and run and it shows me all three statements in separate lines. You can also use different format specifiers in a single format string. I could say system out printf my son's name is percent s and he is percent d years old and now i say daniel is his name and he's two years old notice all of a sudden we started horizontal scrolling this is because my line became too long horizontal scrolling is a bad thing you try to avoid it because it makes your code difficult to read it makes it error prone, it makes it too easy to overlook a problem. So I want to break it up into more than one line. You cannot divide a string between multiple lines. Notice how the color changes. The second half is no longer recognized as part of my string. But you can change lines after arguments. So my first argument is my format string and after that, after my comma, I can easily change to second line. It is customary to use a tab to indicate that we are still in the same statement and I could repeat that if I wanted to. But this does not add any clarity. It just spreads out my statement over more space. So I'm going to switch it back. This makes my code more simple, more clear. I'm going to compile and run and you can see my son's name is Daniel and he's two years old. Once again, we always start with a format string. The format string can include multiple format specifiers. They are placeholders and for each of those format specifiers, we need to specify the actual value. Here it says, I need a string and we provide the string Daniel. Here it says, I need a number and we provide the number for his age. Now I want to introduce you to some escape sequences. Sometimes we want to print a character that cannot be seen, like for example a tabulator. Or we want to print a double quote, but the double quote is the delimiter. Every time we use a double quote it looks like we are closing our string. For those special situations we have an escape character. This is the backslash. Within a string, a backslash is not considered a regular printable character, but it is considered the first part of an escape sequence that is considered in combination with the following character. So backslash t means tabulator. Backslash double quote means print a double quote. If I want to print an actual backslash, I have to use backslash, backslash. So the first backslash alone would look to the compiler like the escape character. There's one other frequently used escape sequence and this is backslash n, the new line. Now you might be wondering what about percent n? Percent n has an advantage. 
it always outputs the correct platform specific line separator, but it can only be used within a format string. It cannot be used in print or print line or other situations. Let's look at an example. I start with an empty line to separate the prior code from the new one. I'm also adding a percent n at the end here, so we have this extra empty line to structure our output. And now I want to use a regular print statement to print multiple lines. And I say 1 backslash n, 2 backslash n, 3 backslash n. You can see here in the output, one, two, three, everything in a separate line. And just to prove that the percent n would not work in this context, I'm going to compile that. And I am going to run it. And you can see I have one percent n two, because the percent n is not considered any special character in a quote-unquote regular string that is not a format string. It's just considered uh, two printable characters, percent and n. So no new line here. We have to switch back to our backslash n. I could do the same thing, but instead of new lines, I could have tabulators. So here I could say, let's have some tabs and see how that changes our output. And you can see I have one, two, three, so my tabulator is spacing my output. And if I would want to do something similar below, let's say with four, five, and six, you can see how tabulators can be used to produce a column-like output here. If I would like to print a backslash, I can do that as well. I can say system out print. Now I'm going to use a print line just to show you that escape sequences work there as well. And I can say um, a backslash. And here I say backslash backslash. And then I say double quote. And here I say backslash double quote. And now I'm going to make um, a space and say uh, this is it. And I'm going to end with a new line backslash n. And um, I'm finished. So here is a back double quote and a double quote. Those two double quotes delimit my string. They show where my string starts and ends. Here in the middle, I do have an extra double quote, but it comes in combination with my escape character backslash. This is a printable double quote. Let's try it out. And you can see a backslash, double quote. This is it. Now it is your turn again. Write one statement with a printf method to print the output below. Use three placeholders for the colors. Pause the video. When you're ready, continue. Here is a possible solution. Notice I'm using one single statement with the method printf. I have three placeholders, three format specifiers for my three colors, red, blue, and green. And in order to make this up-down pattern, I need a slash and a printed backslash. In order to print my backslash, I need to print it twice, the escape sequence, and then the indication that I want to print the actual backslash. Same thing is repeated here. So let's compile and run, and here is our pattern.